Okay, here we are back with another video. Um, if you are coming to this video straight from the last video, you're probably thinking, hey, did he rebuild his home screen from the last video since I kind of trashed all these icons? And no, the way I actually did that was if I go and press menu, there is a button here which I haven't talked about yet called scenes. So if I touch on that, the stock one that's loaded up is called Sprint Scene. You have HTC, Social, Work, Play, Travel, Clean Slate. Those are built in, and then one that I've made, and I'm going to show you that one right now. So if I press that and press Done, so it's going to load this quote-unquote scene that I created, um, combination of some folder organizer items and as well as folders. Um, this is a this is TweetDeck, this is Pandora. I just did the folder item folder organizer item and put them on here with no text and then I have my folders down here that I've also made in folder organizer. Um, I'm a like I said I'm a minimalist, pinch the screens. I don't really have anything on my home screens. Um, this screen over here all I have is a couple of toggle switches, the sync all widget. Again, these are all these three are widgets which can be added from the widgets menu. And then tools is a folder. This little bar down here, um, I haven't shown you before. It's really handy and I highly recommend putting it on a home screen somewhere. To get to it, you just go hold, go to widget, and this thing is called power control. And you don't have to download it, it's built into Android, so there it is, just select power control, and it dumps it on your home screen. And you can turn on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your GPS, your auto sync, and change the brightness of the screen right from this little bar. So, very convenient, um, you don't have to go digging through menus for some of these options. Um, so, I'm just going to drag this down here and remove it, since I already have it on there. Uh, the way you change profiles, or I'm sorry, wallpapers is menu, and of course the wallpaper option, and I'm going to select that. One thing I haven't shown you, which I said I would, is live wallpapers. These are actually wallpapers that move, so they're kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to pick Nexus, select that. This gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. So we'll just go ahead and say set wallpaper. And here's my home screen. And ooh, it's uh, it's got moving colors on it now. Kind of cool. Um, neat way to show off your phone to someone thinking about upgrading to Android or somebody who might want to look at a little more custom customizable option than a iPhone or something like that. Um, not a fan of live wallpapers myself. They drain battery and with this phone it's all about conserving juice. So I'm gonna go to the wallpaper again. Let's go to HTC wallpapers and just pick a static image as my wallpaper. What well, looks cool. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one for right now. This isn't temporary anyways. So press the set wallpaper button. And as you can see, our wallpaper has now changed. Um, if you want to save your quote-unquote scene, you go to menu, scenes, and then now that I've changed my minimal scene, I have this new option up here that says current, and then parentheses up unsaved. So I'll just hit save and then give it a name. So test and done. And now if I go back into menu and scenes, it is an option now under my scenes. So, you know, pretty handy if you want to customize your phone. Uh, my next video, I'm going to show an even further customization you can do to the phone, which is actually what I keep on a normal day-to-day -day basis. 
Um, so keep an eye out for that one. And if you, again, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching.